Donk here today for Monday, May 6th. Goes to the entire production crew for the show Game of Thrones. I am in the 1% of people who don't watch Game of Thrones. I have nothing against the show. I hear it's great. Maybe one day I'll watch it. My wife is an avid watcher, but that's just not a show we are into as a couple. All right, we have a lot of shows that we watch together. Game of Thrones is not one of them. In fact, the past few Sundays that Game of Thrones has been back on, you know, after my wife has put all the kids to bed just so she can have her time to watch Game of Thrones at, at 9, Okay, around 8.57 p.m., I always start a fake serious conversation with her. Like, I really need to talk to you right now type of conversation, okay? This is something that I hey, used yeah. to do when Scandal would come on, and I tend to do that with her whenever I know she's into a show that I'm not into. So it's all just jealousy, envy, and ego, whatever. I'm allowed to feel, okay? My therapist said I am allowed to feel whatever emotions I am feeling, so don't you judge me. Anyway, back to the production crew of Game of Thrones. Now, I don't know if you realize it or not, but this final season of Game of Thrones costs $15 million an episode. Mm -hmm. All right, it costs $15 million to make an episode of Game of Thrones. And that doesn't include reshoots and additional visual effects. So long story short, this season of Game of Thrones, six episodes will cost HBO probably more than $90 million. All right, what a few NBA superstars will make over the next three years, Game of Thrones is blowing in six weeks. Seriously, James Harden, Russell Westbrook, Damian Lillard, they all give or take going to make about $90 million over the next few years. Game of Thrones is blowing that in six weeks. I, I am telling you this because when a show costs this much money, production value should be extremely high. All right, last week I heard people complaining about the lighting of the show. Am I wrong about that, Envy? It was pretty dark. Okay, that's what they were saying, saying it was too dark. And uh, this week something happened that people should be fired for. See, Game of Thrones is a period drama. Uh... I've never seen an episode, but I know it's a medieval fantasy that explores real events from medieval history. So that would be the Middle Ages, the 15th to 15th century. So even though it's a show about medieval fantasy and you see dragons and uh, White Walkers, right? Yes. And uh, they got giants on there too, right? Correct. And ice dragons. Yes. I would assume those are dragons that live in ice. Uh, it's a long story. Just, just okay. keep going. Just keep all going. Right. Well, yeah. they, well, they got all kinds of stuff on there, right? There's certain things we shouldn't see just because of the time period. I mean, let's think of some of the technological advances in the medieval ages. I mean, there was a lot of technological advances during this period. You had the adoption of gunpowder. You had the invention of vertical windmills. You had mechanical clocks. You had uh, uh, water mills, improved water mills. Mm -hmm. uh, they, the building techniques even were better during this time. They had uh, medieval castles, you know, and Gothic architecture, okay? Those are the type of things that were built. So there was a lot of technology. Medieval. Techn medieval. What am I saying? Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Medieval, like the times. Anyway, <laughs> so there was a lot of technological advances, okay. okay? But I don't think Starbucks was one of them, all right? Now, Starbucks was founded March 31st, 1971. I have never excelled in any math class, but I would assume that several centuries after medieval times, right? <laughs> medieval. Whatever. You know okay. what the hell I'm saying. Okay. Hundreds of years after medieval times, <laughs> okay. all right? Okay. okay. All right, Howard Schultz... Uh, is, uh, I was chairman and chief executive of Starbucks. He was born in 1953. Once again, hundreds of years after that M word that I can't pronounce times. <laughs> okay. All right? Medieval. All right? So someone explained to me, maybe you can, Envy, or maybe you didn't know this. Why was there a Starbucks cup on the table in last night's episode of Game of Thrones? Somebody messed up. Uh, the cup was on the grand table of the people they call the nobles, right? Mm-hmm. In front of a Jon Snow seat, right? Yo, it sounds, you sound so funny talking about this, but yes. Uh, it was right next to the mother of the dragons, right? <laughs> Correct. Yeah, I know none of these people. I, I just know. know in a period drama that cost $15 million, an episode uh, with a Starbucks cup, where a Starbucks cup is on the table, that's just, that's, that's just horrible. All right, $15 million an episode. If a Starbucks cup is on the table, then it's possibly a whole production crew that needs to be fired. you telling me the director of photography, the camera operators, the first assistant camera operators, second assistant camera operators, grips, gaffers, boom operators, production designers, most importantly, the script supervisor. The script supervisor, that's your job. The script supervisor is the person in charge of continuity. Okay, the script supervisor must maintain a, a record of scenes shot and how they may have deviated from the original script. The script supervisor also creates the continuity report and works with an assistant to make sure continuity is maintained. So not only did that person not do their job, none of the other people I named on this production crew did their job either. Nobody noticed this big ass Starbucks cup on a table in a period drama? Look, man, I don't watch Game of Thrones, but I heard people complaining about the lighting last week saying it was too dark. Maybe that's why they missed the Starbucks Cup this week, because it was too dark. But listen to me, it's hard to close, all right? This is why I love Endgame so much, and this is why I say when it comes to closure, no movie or TV show has given me the proper closure that Endgame did. Think about the last episode of Sopranos. 
They didn't close well. If you are a girlfriend's fan like myself, you got zero closure, okay? They just abruptly ended. Closing is hard to do, ask LeBron James. All I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, Game of Thrones, you got two more episodes left. Please let this plane land with the wheels out. You owe it to your diehard Game of Thrones fans who sing the praises of this show. You can't land proper closure with the mother of the dragons, the breaker of the change and drinker of blonde espressos, all right? Please give the script supervisor and TV production crew of Game of Thrones the sweet sounds of the Hamiltons. Oh, now you are the dog.